Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator World Championship 09. So in the last episode, we um basically finished up with all the summoning requirements slash win conditions for now. There are a few more that we can uh, do, but that actually uh, involves getting those cards from booster packs that you only unlock by defeating Tag Duelist, which when it comes to that, um, well, there's actually been a couple things that I guess I can talk about. Uh, but I'll do it, of course, while playing, so... The first thing I would do is... Oh, what? Oh, shit, I went back twice. My bad. The first thing I would do is I'm going to go into deck construction and actually load a different deck. And that's just... Oh, I actually already loaded it off screen. My bad. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this episode is uh, duel those world championship mode opponents that I have not dueled yet. Basically, all the new ones that I've unlocked since however many episodes ago. But some people were telling me to mix it up a little bit, you know, that you've seen enough of dragons and you've seen enough of light swarms to the point where like, okay, you get you get the decks, right? And part of this doing this as a let's play, which I guess was fun for some of you in the last few episodes, was that I actually used different decks. Now, yes, I was facing the same really pathetically easy guy the whole time, but at least I was using different decks. I'm going to keep that trend by actually using different decks now. So, um... I made what I can probably consider to be, at least from the cards that I have right now, a pretty good mill deck. It's actually not great, I'm not going to lie, but um, it's okay, I suppose. So I made a, a mill deck off screen. I made a few decks off screen, and I'm going to be using them throughout these next two episodes when I duel these opponents. So let's try it. Let's see here. The first opponent is Cloudy and Storm Dragon, always in the sky, 593. Let's do this. <clears throat> let's duel. Hopefully... Hopefully I can do this. I'm really hoping I can. Oh my god. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is set this card. Then I'm going to, um, well, let's see, so if I have you, no, I'm not going to use that card yet, actually. <clears throat> we'll do that. 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 Actually, I think it would be fine. I just hope he doesn't use everything. Okay, here's, I am actually going to use it. I'm going to use Drag Down into the Grave. Wait, actually? Is that smart? Just do it. Drag Down into the Grave says, You and your opponent look at each other's hands, select one card from each other's hands, and uh, discard them. So basically, I get to look at your hand. What the heck? You have card destruction? Oh my gosh. Um, get rid of that card, I suppose. None of those are really a big threat to me. So, hmm. By the way, I totally forgot to say Giant True Nade. Sorry, I was eating a recess, which is probably why you heard chewing. But I'm done with it. I finished. Okay. Well, that's, um... That's interesting, because you know what I can do? I can actually use Giant True Nade to send those back. You know what? I think I will do that. Here's my plan. So you can discard those cards, right? I'm gonna do Giant True Nade to take those spells and traps back. Then I'm going to set all of this so you're getting to see some strategies here, 101, right? You definitely are. That's one thing that some of you were saying, that you, know, you want to see some different decks because you want to pull some strategies from what you probably see. I'm not saying I'm, a, I'm an expert at Yu-Gi-Oh! with like all these different decks, but at least you can take some things here and there, you know? And there we go. So now I just did a Morphing Jar, so he just lost his two cards that he set. And now I get to set another monster. I can actually card destruction. <clears throat> you know? That actually sounds like a pretty good idea, but, um... The issue here is that I can't set anything else, unfortunately. Um... But what I can do is I can actually Book of Moon. The Morphing Jar. Then I can go ahead and... Yeah, I don't think I want to summon or set any of these monsters. I think I just want a card destruction. I'm gonna go with card destruction. Now he's gonna lose another five cards and draw another five. That's freaking amazing right there. There we go, that's a much better one. I'm gonna go ahead and set this Needleworm. Needleworm says flip, discard five cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Fantastic. Um. Shit. What if. 
if I lose gravity bind, I lose gravity bind, you know? Should I set it? But, like, the issue here is... I'm gonna set it. This might be very risky, because now I don't have any, um... I don't have anything on my side of the field that's that's free in the Spell and Trap card zone, so that's a little scary if I draw a card that I need to activate right away. You're tributing for Claudian Nimbus Man. Cannot be destroyed by battle, uh, face up to destroy. You can tribute any number of water monsters. Hold on. <clears throat> monsters for the tribute summon to this card. When this card is tribute summon, place one fog counter on it for each water monster you tributed. This card gains 500 attack for each fog counter on the field. Okay. I suppose that's fine. So the only card I can actually activate in response is Gravity Bind. But to be honest, I don't really want to... Should I go for it? Maybe I should. I'm gonna go for it. Let's do Gravity Bind. Alright, so now you're seeing this mill deck here, man. This is freaking amazing, isn't it? Uh, not really. I mean, it could be a lot better. Hyrule Shadow's card is actually a really shitty mill card, to be honest, but I had no other option. Um, <clears throat> so let's see here. I'm going to flip Needleworm. Okay, that's going to mill some. I'm going to set Hyrule's Shadow Scout. And to be honest, it doesn't make much sense to... Um, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do No Element of Extermination on your face down card. Spirit Barrier. Okay. Um, does that mean you have, to, you have to mill more copies of... Wait. Storm remove from play one face down spell or trap. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh shit, you're right. If, if you respond to it, it's not face down anymore. Crap. Um, I suppose I can smash and ground you. Sure. And that is actually all I'm gonna do. The reason why I'm not flipping Morphine Jar yet is because I want to combine that with Hyro Shadow Scout. <clears throat> because Hyro Shadow Scout can actually make him keep monsters and traps if he draws them. It discards spell cards. So you're gonna get more cards in the hand, but I want to get rid of that right away because you're gonna get five cards anyway from Morphing Jar. Oh shoot! Well, you attack the right one, in my opinion, for me. That makes it a lot easier for me. <clears throat> okay. See what I'm talking about? You're gonna get some cards, but that's fine because Morphing Jar is about to be flipped. So it's actually perfectly fine. Raiko, okay. I don't think I want to set that. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the, um... Yeah, let's go for the flip here. Morphing Jar. Let's do this. Let's get a brand new hand. Huh. Okay. Um... <clears throat> we can still do a couple things here. Let's go ahead and do Hand Destruction. I'm going to send... My two monsters, actually, and draw some more. There we go. Um, what else can I do here? I'm gonna put you in defense, one needle worm. I can actually heavy storm because I kind of want you to attack, you know. Kind of do because if you attack, you know what? Let's go for that. Let's do heavy storm. This will blow up my gravity bomb, which is fine, and my swords, but it's okay because it'll blow up three of your cards, which is fine. Uh, not that they're really a problem. I mean, maybe Cloud and Squall could be. But I'm also going to set this one. I'm going to set one. I'm going to Gravekeeper Servant, actually. So every time you attack, you have to actually mill a card. And I'm going to Gold Sarcophagus. Um, I suppose I can get, like, another Needleworm. Sure, I guess that'll help, maybe. And that is going to be it for my turn. Oh, dude, I didn't... Wait, what the hell? What if we're going to start by battle since the Great Press Special Summon two tokens? I don't really care for that. Because <clears throat> it'll just summon more monsters. I could actually attack with Morphine Jar if I wanted to, but... I don't think it's worth it, right? Salvage, you're going to add a few monsters back into your hand, okay. Cloudy and Nimbus Man, Cloudy and Atlas. <clears throat> this guy's got so many cards in his hand, oh my gosh. Summon Cloud. The Sanctuary in the Sky, that's useless for me. Does not affect me in any way. 
summoning Cloudy and Atlas. All right, the fuel is getting really clogged up again. You can clearly see that. Oh gosh. Now you're going to attack. Okay, that's fine. You're going to mill one. Which means you'll be dead in no time because I have a Hyrule Shadow Scout. So if you do one... Yeah, I actually won. Because if you attack, which you just did, that puts you at three. Hyrule Shadow Scout forces three draws, which means I can just end my turn and I win. And that's basically how that works. Yep, there we go. So if you end your turn, can you just end your turn? You lost. You freaking lost, okay? Alright, and I can draw. Natural disaster each time. A card they control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by the effect of... Okay, I don't really care. I am just going to... End the turn, and that's game. <clears throat> okay, well... That's one way to do it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do one more duel with the mill deck. Uh, just so, you know, just for some fun here. I want you all to see more than just one. Deck destruction bonus. The hell? That's a new bonus there. Cool. Alright, next up is... Who's actually next on the list? It is... You, X Saber Wayne. Password is X. 600, okay. Well, let's see what this is all about here. Let's duel. Also, I am freaking thirsty right now. Jeez. I need to drink some water. <clears throat> okay. I started with Morphing Jar again, actually. That's freaking crazy, because that card is actually limited. Uh, I am going to set it, sure. Which also means I need to set everything else I have. So I can keep these resources with me, you know? So I will be losing... Um, Hyrule's Shadow Scout, an alternative is to actually keep my Morphing Jar alive by Mirror Forcing, if I want to do that and not have it flip until my turn, but I don't think I want to do that. There's Gaia Power, okay. Hexsaber Ooze, okay. Well, I have to, um, I have to read your effect. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you contribute this card to put the destroyed card on top of its owner's deck. Really? You know what? I'm not going to complain about that. You can actually do that if you want to. I don't see why you would want to do that. I'm going to let you go with the attack. And if you put Morphine Jar on top of the deck, it's actually perfectly fine by me. Trust me, it is. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's a lot of spell cards. Are you going to do it? You did not. Shit. Oh, whatever. That's okay. That's what I get here. Mm, I have the hand destruction here. Okay, do I really need to keep all this crap with my probably not? Um Get rid of one bottom actually get rid of both bottom lists. Who cares? There's a monster. I will set that, sure. Um so I have a Nolman of Extermination. Do I wanna do that? I can try. You freaking piece of trash. God damn it. Um, that was probably a dumb idea then. So you still have a Gaia power, but that's not really a problem for me. I have that, that. Um, I guess I can set this one too. And I'm just going to end the turn there. I don't really want to smash and ground you because... Eh, Morphing Jar 2 works better the more opponents' monsters there are. Like that, that's 2 now. So Morphing Jar 2 is going to work a lot better now. <clears throat> so I will let you attack so we can activate the effect here So this basically is gonna put your monsters back in the deck You're gonna shuffle it and you're gonna excavate cards until you get two monsters that are level four or lower So any any other card gets sent to the graveyard. So that's a mill one and that's that did not help that much God damn it. <clears throat> that only milled one card Not very good. Not very good. Okay. That's okay. I got more options, right? I give the effect. I don't want to do that now <clears throat> okay. There's a good one. Alright, so which one was which? Shit. Actually, they get randomized. I guess I can hit one of these randomly, but I don't think any of them is a flip effect monster, which means no one is not really going to be that helpful. That was X Saber Par or Anna P Piranha? What the? I was going to say Polara, but it's Anna Polara. <laughs> but it sounded like I was going to say Piranha. I don't know why.
X Saber Air Bellum. And the X Saber Ooze. Okay. Oh shoot, are you gonna bring an Urbellum? You are. <clears throat> okay. I guess the question is, do I want to mirror force you? I don't think I do, because I have Smashing Ground. I'm saving that for when there's more monsters on the field, and I don't have a Morphing Jar too. Alright, so Needleworm is gonna mill uh, five more cards from your deck. There we go. Main phase two, you are going to end your turn. Okay, please draw a monster. I need some monsters. Shit. That's not gonna help. Um, I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Whatever. If you summon another monster and attack me, I'm mirror forcing you, dude. I'm just saying. X Saber Ooz. 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 I. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it out. It's time. It's time for the mirror force. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so we're both still at 8,000 light points. That's crazy. I can also MST or Gaia Power if I really want to do that, just for the hell of it, you know? I suppose that works. Might as well. I don't really have any other plays except setting Hyrule's Shadow Scout this turn. I really am not a fan of Hyrule's Shadow Scout, though, because he freaking... He only discards a spell card, you know? Anything else, they keep it. Hyrule's Shadow Scout is actually a really bad mill card, it's just that I don't have any other methods. I don't even know if Warm Worm is actually out for this game, but if it was, that would be much better than Hyrule's Shadow Scout. Another guy power, huh? Whatever. <clears throat> Whatever. That's your third copy, actually. Galahad? Okay, um... I'm gonna Gravity Bind now. That will actually make you not attack. Okay, let's draw. Ooh, perfect. Well, let's go ahead and flip Hyrule's Shadow Scout. <clears throat> let's see what happens here. Get all spells. Shit. 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 Oh my god. All three of them? Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Whatever. Just end a turn. I mean, we're down to 14 cards anyway, so it's it's okay. I'm I'm doing well. Next Saber Axel. Oh, but you can attack. Shoot. I just lost my Hyrule Shadow Scout. God damn it. Alright, I think it's time for... Well, I actually don't know. What the hell? I can try to... Who has who has more defense? So I can try to smash him ground. That's a Sangan. Okay, we have less defense. But what I can actually try and do is... I can summon Sangan and attack you. It did work. There we go. <clears throat> now my Needleworm is a little bit safer. Do you get to draw a card because of the effect? No. The card must be face up on the field to resolve that effect. Alright, let's flip Needleworm now. That's gonna mill five more. And that is actually all I can do. I mean, I could smash and ground you, but eh, it's fine. It's okay. Attack Saber Airbellum. Oh my god, that thing is gonna bypass. Attack Sangam, please be dumb. Yes! Why did you- I don't know why you did that, but okay. I'll take it. Because you just gave me a free resource, and it's basically gonna be another Needleworm, I'm pretty sure. Needleworm is like my MVP here, because that thing can mill the most. Let's get Needleworm. There we go. Okay. That should actually be it right there. I'm just gonna set that. Who has more defense? Seriously? Okay, so you have more defense, so that's not gonna really help. Um... Yeah, that's fine, whatever. So let's see, now you're gonna, gonna, gonna go down to six. Needleworm will do five, we'll be down to one. Shit, that means you have another turn left still. All right, what are you doing? X Saber, Palumlo. Oh, you're gonna Synchro Summon, huh? For a who? What the hell is that? X Saber, Wayne. Oh, that's your MVP monster, huh? When this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon one level four or lower warrior type monster from your hand. Whoa. 
And a Polara? Okay. Only Airbellum can attack, so that's fine. And you attack the Needle Worm that's face down. Okay. That's gonna mill another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a card. <clears throat> oh, I won. Card destruction. MVP coming through. Oh no, you did not just do that. Shoot. God damn it, I should have freaking heavy stormed first then. Or smashing ground. Just smashing ground. Kill something. That thing had more defense than Wayne? Oh my god, Wayne only has 400 defense. I did not think that was going to happen. Um, let's go ahead and set this card and end the turn. Now, unfortunately, we have to just wait out one more turn because freaking card destruction got negated. I should have, I should have smashing ground first, but okay. X Saber Galahad. All right, Arabellum, attack your target. You chose Defender. Defender has a crazy defense stat, but it makes the opponent draw a card every single turn. All right, let's draw. Hmm. Enter. I was gonna like try to use Book of Moon on something creative, but there's nothing I can really do here that's gonna be really beneficial. So nope, screw that. Screw it a lot. I don't know what the hell I meant by that. All right, so that duel is done. <clears throat> that's pretty awesome, I must say. Let's go ahead and switch decks now. I think you've seen enough of that one. You've basically seen, you know, what a mill deck can do, but there's a lot more deadlier cards out there. Um, once you actually get them. Let's go with a... So I did mill. Um, I, I tried to make a zombie deck, but I didn't have enough good zombies yet. Let's go with the water deck here. My water deck is not also... It's not amazing either, but... Um, let's do it. We can do a duel in this episode. We got time. We're only at 22 minutes. Let's duel Falcon of Miss Valley. Okay. Oh shoot. Tie. I win, I'm going first. So basically, um, to make a really good water deck in 2009 standards, it has to revolve around Le a Legendary Ocean. That's the only way to make a really viable water deck in this game. So... I have a couple options here. But I'm gonna start by actually activating Warrior of Atlantis' effect. Essentially, if you discard the card, you get a copy of Legendary Ocean into your hand. That's pretty nice. Uh, I'm then going to use Legendary Ocean. So, a Legendary Ocean, in case you don't know, the card's name is treated as Umi. It also reduces the level of all water monsters in both players' hands and on the field by one and all water monsters gain uh, 200 attacks. So, I'm just going to go ahead and summon Abyss Soldier. A really interesting theme about um, water cards is that a lot of them actually have bounce effects like Abyss Soldier, Penguin Soldier, uh, Nightmare Penguin. A lot of different cards utilize that feature of bouncing cards. I mean, particularly the Penguin archetype is notorious for that as well, and most Penguins are actually water attribute, which makes sense. Okay, so you put a lot of cards face down, actually. That is a little scary. Um, so here's a funny thing about this, Gigantagagigo, when a Legendary Ocean is on the field, because it's a level 5 naturally, it becomes a level 4 with 2650 attack. It's absolutely insane. However, I don't completely trust that side over there, so what I'm going to actually do here, I'm going to enter battle phase and just attack. Hmm. The attack did actually land. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe I was getting a little freaked out for nothing. The heck? Hmm. Alright, uh, main phase two. Let's go ahead and set one of these. And end a turn. Now you're summoning flying Kamikiri number one. Alright, are you gonna tag my face down? It seems you are. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna, gonna bounce your flying and carry one back to the hand. Uh, no more. Nope. Spring of Rebirth, that's fine. You're gonna get your 500 life points. Alright, I don't know if those face downs are gonna be a problem for me, but I'm gonna go for a brutal attack here. Hopefully this works. 
Ooh, actually, you know what? Oh, crap. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm actually not because I just drew Solemn Judgment. I can wait for next turn. I'm just gonna attack for 2,000 this turn. And I'm gonna set another Penguin Soldier, and I'm also gonna set Solemn Judgment. That way, I'll be set next turn. In case you do have a Mirror Force or any Battle Trap, I can just negate that with a Solemn Judgment, and I'm good. Oh my god, that's the same exact play. Flying Kamikari 1 is gonna attack a Penguin Soldier. Sadly, you're gonna get another 500 life points. That's a little unfortunate. Um, yes, return that thing to the hand. Now, the worst part is the fact that I can't believe that Spring of Rebirth actually gave you another turn. Because if you didn't have Spring of Rebirth, this would have been game this turn right here because I could have Monster Reborn as well as summon Giga Kaka Gigo for game. But I can't do that. Because then I'm going to be a little short. It's 2650 and then 2000 and... Shit. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Here we go. Enter battle phase. Do you have a mirror force? If you're doing it, then negate it. You did not, actually. Damn. So I, that means I could have won this turn regardless. Because I could have summoned Giga last turn. And that probably would have been it. That's minus 2000. And then... Minus 20. Oh, actually, they had that. Okay, okay. I see. Um, is that worth it? I want to say it's not. That is not a bad problem at all. I mean, it's okay. You get 500, but it's okay. Because, yeah, that's fine. I don't think it was worth paying 4,000 life points to negate one of my monsters getting bounced back to the hand that I can just summon next turn. So it's okay. Alright, so that's probably a flying can carry one. Uh, what makes- oh shit, you said two more, huh? Okay, what makes the most sense this turn- well, I mean, let's actually wait until I draw. Okay. Um, what the- so like one card you're- I, I didn't read- I didn't get to read that. The fuck? And place it on the bottom of its owner's deck. Are you serious? Okay. Okay, because- Regardless, it didn't matter if you attributed the monster. What I was going to do is actually use Abyss Soldier's effect to discard a card, which is going to have to be um, Mother Grizzly. Luckily, I drew that. To bounce a card. Enter battle phase. Um, and let's go. And there's 2,000 right there. And let's see this attack connects. Oh my god. Alright, this time I'm going to do it. This time I'm going to do it. It makes a lot of sense to do that, so I can just win this turn. And that's game. Okay, interesting duel there, but that's the water deck that I have. Um, as you can see, it revolves around a legendary ocean. Hopefully you're enjoying seeing these different decks here in action. I know I am. I definitely am. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna get some points. I'm at 1,036. I'm going to do one more duel with the water deck, but that's going to be for next time. I guess what I can do right now is just open a few packs of something that I haven't opened yet. Like maybe... Oh, I don't know. The duel is Genesis. Do you think I'm going to get a Stardust Dragon? Oh my gosh, what if I do? I, I, I'm literally going to like cry out of happiness. Izanagi, go no go. What the hell? Twin Shield Defender? When this card controls the battle to where you can have the occurring and that's not that good. Mega Bunny. Oh my god. Junk Barrage. Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. When this card destroy wait, what is this an that's an ultra rare. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, gain life points equal to that monster's original attack. You can pay a thousand life points to negate the activation of a spell or trap that targets one psychic type monster and destroy it. Interesting. That's actually pretty good. Dark to Dark Charmer. Montage Dragon. Oh yeah, this thing, yeah, I remember that, okay. Space Gate. Ghost Gardener. Psychic Rejuvenation, uh, whatever. Defense Draw. 
That's a super rare? Dude. Seriously? That was not a wide variety of cards. The fuck? I only made it to four. Okay. Whatever. Alright, so if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.